Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a tutorial on how to manually update the SDK for any game that FMT supports. So you'd be doing this if you're tired of waiting for me to update the SDK for you and do a new release of FMT. When you need to do this is when you see the editor are loaded and it says outdated SDK. I plan to make this an automated process in the future but it won't work for everything because some games are more complicated than, than others to try and make SDKs. I will cover the two methods today. One is for the more simple sort of games without any anti-cheat and then the other one is with anti-cheat. Um, anti-cheat is mainly for games like FC 25, 24 and FIFA 23, yes. And I think there was some anti-cheat for Madden as well. And one other, I can't remember what it was. Um, most other games have no anti-cheat, so there's no real blockers, but we will show them both. Okay, so the simple one is uh, something like Dragon Age, Railguard, take it away. So what you do, you wouldn't run your editor like this. You leave this closed and then in your package you've downloaded the zip, go to that, you would run the SDK generator console. Now, if you run this before anything is run, any game is run, it will just sit there waiting for the game to load, like this. It runs for 60 seconds and then fails. So if you try to run Fail Guard now, hopefully it gets the same time. It should do. Nicely done. You should see the SDK generator has kicked in, jumped on, and doing its business. That sounded a lot worse than it should have, but you get the idea. Wait for it to finish. Depends on the game and the size of the game, how long this takes. I think this has kicked my CPU into gear because it's trying to do the shaders at the same time as doing the SDK generation. This is usually a lot quicker. You're probably better off waiting for Dragon Age to get to the main menu and most games wait until you get to the main menu then run the SDK generator. I'm just being lazy and run it beforehand. Come on, you know you want to do it. Yay, stop taking all my CPU. Stop. Stop. Right, it finished. That's why it disappeared. Right, yay. Veil guard, please go away. Thank you. Right. After it's finished building the SDK, you will see this brand new folder, TMP Profiles, on the bottom. Here you will have your new SDK. You may cut or copy, cut as best, and place it into the SDK folder. Paste it here. 
So the old one is here, the new one is here, done that, and there you go. You've updated update the SDK for the Veil Guard. Now we get on to the more difficult ones. Um, for FIFA 23, FC 24, and FC 25, you have to bypass the anti cheat to even make an SDK for a game. This is a nightmare. I would have stopped all modding, well, almost all modding, for these games. But thankfully, we have a good man called Aranaktu who builds the live editor. Both this tool and FIFA Editor tool use the live editor to generate SDKs. So, I, the magic of downloading something earlier, for the latest SDK, I've had to update the live editor to the latest version. At the time of this recording, the latest version that works with FC25 is 25.2.8. What you do is launch the game via Live Editor. Yes, yes. I trust Anaku, I think. So it's detected the game version here. Run game. Please don't break. Oh, is it, uh, I think I broke my uh, PC a bit because I closed down Veil Guard too early. Where have you gone? When you have problems like this, you're better off just closing. Or oh, something, something's really sticking around. What's sticking around then, guys? Let's have a look. Tell me now. What is it? What is it? I bet I've scrolled past it multiple times. I think I see a background task, I'm pretty certain. There we go. Yes. Oh, look, yeah, there it is. Look, Bail of God is still running. That's my bad for uh, just Alt F4 and while it's doing its business. Okay. Rerun this. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect recording, guys. Well scripted. Things going to plan, of course. So there we go. It's going to run FC25 without the anti-cheat. Great stuff. That's now running. So while that is running, you can generate an SDK. Looking good. There you go. So once again, we're going to update it like this. I don't think there was any changes between title update 8 and 9. But okay. Then we rerun FMT. Open up FC25. Bada bing, bada boom. No more outdated SDK messages at the top of the screen. I hope you find this useful. I will try and section this video out and put some timestamps on it so it's easier to follow. 
Thanks very much, guys. Catch you in the next one.